going to talk to you about how to cut out distractions from your home office. First of all, if you can, make sure that your home office is really only used as an office. If your home office doubles as a TV room, for example, it's very easy to start thinking of that room as the TV room and not your office. And this can make accomplishing anything very difficult. Also, it's best if you're working in a room that other people don't use. Then it really is your room, and when you go into it, you think, okay, I'm at work now, and it's separate from the rest of the house. You want to make sure that things that could distract you and aren't related to your work aren't nearby. So magazines that are not related to anything having to do with your job should not be in your office. Televisions should not be in your office. You shouldn't really have a mini refrigerator in your office because then you're just going to sit there eating the whole time. Make it clear to other people that you're living with that your home office is just that. It's your office at home, and it's not their space. If other people think that they can use that space as well, you're much more likely to be interrupted by people who are looking for the remote control or looking for your, their shoes or have to ask you a question. If other people know that when you're in that room, you're there to work, you're much less likely to get distracted. When you choose to work from home, you run the risk of encountering many distractions. So consciously make an effort to cut those distractions out and you'll be much more productive.